in pangkalan bun Of course, as, as the moon continues to edge further away from the Earth, about three centimeters each year, in about 500 million years, we'll never have a total eclipse again. But look at this. This is Bailey's Beats in, I mean, I didn't realize they were going to be so bright. Look at that. And it's almost like one ginormous diamond ring left set in a circle of brightness encircling the moon's shadow. Oh, are we seeing features that look suspiciously like prominences? This is where the chromosphere becomes visible. <gasps> there it is, the diamond. Faint, thin atmosphere that you can never see usually. You can only see because the moon has now completely eclipsed the sun. There is one tiny thing on there, one tiny feature at about 11 o'clock that looks like a prominence potentially. It could be part of the chromosphere, the inner atmosphere of the sun. This is extraordinary. <laughs> Diamond ring, did you see it, Steve? No. Whoa! So cool. Oh! Amazing! Beautiful! Oh my god! That is just. It kind of wants to be such a good. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, that might be one There's of the planets. There's Venus, upper left. Right up there. You don't think that's Venus? They said you'd be able to see Venus. Faint, thin atmosphere that you can never see usually. You can only see because the moon has now completely eclipsed the sun. There is one tiny thing on there, one tiny feature at about 11 o'clock that looks like a prominence potentially. It could be part of the chromosphere, the inner atmosphere of the sun. This is extraordinary. <laughs> you can see with our closer camera more features of the chromosphere peeking through the sun's activity. It's redder in color because we are closer to the sun. Look at that. We are definitely seeing prominences here and the beautiful red light of the chromosphere, the layer of the sun's atmosphere before the corona. I never really thought it was going to be quite this moving and we are being plunged into darkness. What, what would I say there, we were surprised by the brightness of Bailey's beads as was Liz and the thing to say about eclipses is that every eclipse is different. This is why there are people that, that obsessively follow them around the globe because you, you never quite know about the details of Bailey's beads. You saw actually there, I think the camera exposure changed, didn't it? That's why it was, it whited out almost, as, but then you saw those Bailey's beads disappear. Very small diamond ring, I thought, um, compared to the ones I've seen before. I, now we're going to see an, another diamond ring as, as the moon passes over the sun again. We, we should see it emerge from, I think, the bottom right of that image. I think you're beginning to see the, the diamond ring. So that would be the sun emerging through a valley on the moon. So you're seeing the lunar geography there. As Liz said, the sun's very active at the moment. That's why we had the auroral displays across the northern UK. Um, and so you see those prominences. We're going to, we'll get more analysis of this actually on the show tonight at yes, 9 o'clock. We're going to have another look back over this boat after this and then later on Stargazing Live tonight. But um, you see that you see that the moon is moving across to a sort of the, what, the, te the, the 10 o'clock position. So it's, and, and so there, there is the diamond ring. Ah, well, that's a beautiful diamond ring, isn't it? And you see how bright the sun is, because just that momentary sort of flash of light and then suddenly the eclipse. <laughs>